Let's see it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Come on. Let's see it. Ready? Ready? Go. Ready for this? Go ready? for it. Come and press this. Oh, you're being stupid. Check that out. Check that out. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. <laughs> uh, it's cold, so I'm trying to warm myself up with uh, some terrible dance moves. You've been stupid in no time. <laughs> so today we are doing. Because I realised that I haven't actually done um, hamstrings, glutes training. But we're going to do it a little bit different. We're not going to be doing it in a conventional gym. There's no leg curls. So I'm going to show you what I've been doing, which is just as effective. Um, this video is just going to be a straight up workout slash banter. We've got Darren here again. Say hi, Darren. Hello, guys. You all right? Yeah, see, he's in covered up, nice and warm, and it's cold in here. This is the difference between here and the gym. I can't have my big legs out, see? It'd just be a shame here. Sort of. yeah. I'm going to go through every workout as we go along. I'm going to start with two supersets. So, poor squats. So, go down, hold it for about three seconds. We're not going too heavy this time. And then, do some GHDs as well. Some weighted GHDs. Specifically go on eBay to look for socks there. You do, don't you? Of course. So. <laughs> Entertain the crowd. Spend an hour. Socks. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be a professional training person who <laughs> looks at socks all day. Really, like all we do now is watch comic book movies and now look at socks. What does it do with this stuff? Watch comics. Um. Then buy socks. Then look for more gym clothes. Then the Oreos. Can't forget the Oreos. Yeah, the yeah. Oreos. <laughs> I'm trying there. My mission is to try and find every single type of flavor of Oreos. I tried pretty much all of them. I tried watermelon Oreos the other day. What? Which is a stereotype, I know, but. <laughs> they have watermelon Oreos. <laughs> Single legs and back to weight it again. I like to do them before I start um, 
my main workout. So we'll do, this is the last set, three or four sets, uh, about 12 reps. Like I said, three seconds, two to three seconds, pause, up, then again some GHDs, uh, glute hand raises, but these are just warm-ups. For me, I always say it's just to wake up my hamstrings and my glutes, so when it comes to doing deadlifts, it feels a lot smoother. Obviously, I've done my warm-ups before this, which I think I'm going to record a lower body uh, mobility warm-up drill so that it doesn't make this video too long. for that and I have it I've just trained to get bigger now my mindset's changed where I want to be stronger I want to be faster I want to still be big and I want to be a, a gymnast as well so I want to be able to do muscle ups and handstand push ups are they all 20 kgs? yeah 10 crossfit plates <laughs> <laughs> Make you look like you're lifting more. <laughs> Or is that actually you should do that? Dance whenever you can, man. <laughs> Life's too short. Get some good music. That's why I listen to music when I train. Music makes a massive difference. Oh, definitely. Can't train without music. 
when you enjoy your workout, you feel great as well. And I always have different playlists for my different moods. If I'm in an angry mood, I'm like Metallica. Okay, so next one, weighted step ups. This is about 24, the box 24 inches. Sometimes I will do a 30. That will really make you use your hamstring, your glutes, but never towards the end of a session because my legs are tired. But 24 is fine. When some people use dumbbells, you can use dumbbells. I prefer to have the weight on my back. 10 to 12 reps each leg. So what I do is one set, stay on the same leg, second set, alternate. Then split squats, I'm using the plate. Again, this helps work your hamstrings, again, and your glutes. So when you're at the bottom position, I go all the way down, push up with my hamstrings, my glutes. My quads aren't doing that much work in most of what you've seen. Um, if you can't do pistol squats, which a lot of people probably might not be able to do, um, I have a video of how I progress a pistol squat. So I'll put the link to the Instagram video, but if you guys want more explanation of how to progress pistol squat, I can do that. If you can't pistol squats on a bench, okay, you can always hold some weight and some dumbbells, okay. You can even hold a plate, uh, a bar on your back and do that. Well, if you're confident enough, bar or dumbbells. That's right.
<laughs> After this year, you've been a lot more happier than last year. I think you're, you're getting more focused now and you're training and everything like that. But last year, you were just kind of going through the motions of it. Now you seem to yeah, be enjoying it. Yeah, I have. Honestly, like this year, the past few months, I feel like I have new goals and new things to focus on. And yeah, I'm happier now. Like, I don't have a lot of pressure on myself to look good, hmm. you know, look aesthetic. Now it's just like, how quick can I go? My goals have changed. I still want to be stronger. I still want to, yeah, in some way, maintain the aesthetics, but I want to be more athletic as well. Hmm. So, yeah. I'm a lot more happier with in terms of training. Yeah. I'm more super. motivated. Yeah, you got more drive behind you than you did last summer. Yeah, and now it's like when I go to the gym, I have so many different things. I'm gonna put up a video about my timetables and what I do, but so many things I have to work on. It's insane, but it's fun to like say, oh, okay, I have to work on this, work on this, to work on it. When it comes to Mekon, it's like, right, how can I absolutely destroy myself in a session? But sometimes it's not even that. Sometimes it's how can I improve a range of mo mo movement in this session? So I can do an hour of just mobility stuff. And normally I would find that boring, but now I know the benefits of it. Is that I come in, I get it done. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your support. Make sure to like the video if you can. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And look forward to bringing more videos. Let me know any feedback, anything you guys want to know, anything you want me to do more of. Leave a comment and catch you guys later. That's that. There you go, that's it. We need to have some like, cheesy music on.